was the wrong answer but i wanted to make sure if someone would bring up something about the button i think i know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key but if you can't get past the gate you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator could yep. you? yes you could if you used this what is it some kind of glass ball it's busted to hell actually it was supposed to be a crystal ball but uh but how would you use it the kid had to use the glass ball in the sir he threw it he, he... the killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate all they had to do was hit that switch and the incinerator would come to life. Yep. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before? He ha! Ah. And he's a baseball player. And the only way he'll be able to hit it because he's a baseball player. incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate yeah once they got the incinerator going all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in hey come on what the hell is this all you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room the shards of broken glass the incinerator left running the piece of shirt that escaped the fire if the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least and, 30 feet, right? And who is a baseball player? The accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. No. Nope. Difficult. Absolutely impossible i don't think so because the killer is oh. I got it. because the killer is the ultimate baseball star isn't that right leon do you do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now a target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge yeah. baseball star you, you, you can't be serious I, I'm not the killer! These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Oh, sorry guys, sorry. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. The closer angle is about a. We would like to hear more. Okay. Every case has one last amendment to bring the class trial to the end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You have a, to reproduce the flow of the event for this case in form of a comic book. However, you notice that in a comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the left button, holy cow, you get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Well then, good luck and have fun. Closing climax. So if I hit that, a room was on the scene of the crime. The incident began. Huh? Well, he went in. He went in. Went in. Got a killer. Okay. Uh. 
No, it doesn't seem right. Oh. Okay, this will make more sense. Then Okay, that makes more sense. She locked herself in. No. She went in. Wait. That doesn't seem to add up. You already had the sword. No, there's no point. It's already there. This image is already there for us. Well, this will make sense. Okay, let's uh let's let's match what we can find now. So she she left the evidence here. So this is her. No, she already wrote it. No. Nope. Okay, this is good. So she already wrote it. So this will make sense that this was there There's no point of adding this one there This one there because it's already in the scene That makes sense if this was the case You notice in the back Saw her, yeah, that will make sense She screwed herself in I'm sure you wrote it This will make sense because Yeah, so you found a lint roller No Yes, that will make sense Uh, matters. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you very much It throws it and this have it. Here's exactly what happened. Okay, this makes more sense. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Yep. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell. Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Yep. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Yep, yeah, that's what happened. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. Yep. So 
So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife. And stabbed Sayaka. There you go. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. Yep. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. Yep. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. Yep. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. Yeah, what the shirt There was one thing they missed. the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator the killer didn't notice this and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence Bob right, Leon there it would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Yeah, that's crazy. Do I object? Yes, I object. Of course I do. I object. I object. I object. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well, then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Do I? I have, I have the evidence. Your first bullet time, your first bullet time battle is about to begin. Okay. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you want. You have to say. So when this happens, you'll engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We'll like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BDW, by the way. There to be to be you want to destroy your opponent's statement in times with rhythm Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen
Press the right lock on your opponent. Destroy the statement you locked onto with the left button as the temple reaches the center. Wait, reaches the center? As this method to deal damage to your opponent, if you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Temple's up. Do this considering you'll start a temple combo. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll just temp okay. But the temple chain is all this timing. So watch out for that. Okay. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak bots will appear. At that point, you can press the left mouse button to shoot it down. Re refute their statement enough to but just like before, it's your oh yeah, I have it. Well done, good luck, have fun. When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. The tool could have been. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid, 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 stupid. stupid. The moment of truth. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lost. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Stupid. You lost. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? I don't failed. I don't even. Nobody believes me. Nobody wants to hear what I have to say. Have we already come to a debate? When then? I don't know how this shit works. Is, is yeah, I want to give it a shot. I refuse to give up yet. I don't understand how this shit works. Sometimes during a class, your opponent simply draws one hair. When this happens, you'll engage them in a head to head battle. We we'll like to call this refer to the bullet time battle. During the BT, you want to destroy your opponent's statement in time with the rhythm. Match your button press with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Using this amount of deal damage to your opponent. That's not the. Okay, I'm gonna try it out. Let's see what happens. There's something about right click. When the killer removed the screws from the door, instead, they must have used something that belonged. Okay, sorry. <laughs> So something about right click? Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lost. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie! Shut up! Here's your proof! You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! 
wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Shut up. It wasn't me! Where's your proof? This oh, okay. I, I understood it now. So I'll lock it with the right and hit him with the left. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. That must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the tool kit in my room had clearly never been used. Yep. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got tool kits. So the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Yep. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! He's so upset with himself. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Fuck. He's found guilty as fuck. So... You have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. Damn. That's crazy. I gotta see. Final results, I got an A though. Yay! I don't know what those things are. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You already know. You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Mm. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? We already know who it is. Yeah, he was already found guilty. Looks like you got it right on the money. The black in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kuwata. Oh. Huh? Huh? Hey, hold on. Hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But... I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I I didn't have a choice. It was kill or be killed. Yeah. So that's why I killed her first. One wrong step, and you've been in the one standing here. It was complete chance that I wounded wounded up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. Uh, that's all. Yeah. Hey, come on! Do you expect me to just accept my death? 
everything becomes clear the decision we made was right after all but when i think about that honestly i'd be better off we've been wrong because if we were came up with the what really is the truth then the truth is that sayaka was trying to frame me but even if that's the truth i can't say she was wrong after all the mastermind it's all because of that video even i couldn't handle what i saw in there if i was here if i was her and that video actually had something to do with me i can't even imagine The one thing that was more important to her than anything else her dreams her friends so i've seen something like that happen to them and sayaka I... did whatever it took to reach that dream i mean it i even some things that weren't so pleasant and that's why sayaka for the friends that meant so much to her that's why she betrayed me so when she said She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy, howdy. The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships? She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside? She descended into pure madness. What? 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 Did you say? Phew. I understand. I really do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger despair is when they collapse. Uh, stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that? All of it? Everything? It's all your fault. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I lunge at. Uh, Monokuma, but that's enough. That's enough. Oh, sure, said it. And angry as I was, Kayuga latched onto my arms without hesitating. Her grip was like iron strong enough, I was sure I wouldn't leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, that was so close, one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good wall of whooping. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Now then, since so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during a class trial, the black and Leon Kubuda will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean execution? Wait a second! I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of, of the moment. It was self-defense. Okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Mm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own weapon toolkit? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any numbers of chances to stop what you were doing But you chose not to Is it not because you had unclouded intent to commit murder? So that's why No, that's not Stop it I have enough of this oh. Are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone Were you not? You killed your precious Sayaka Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either because because the one to blame is him if it weren't for you this never would have happened to sayaka or leon you shouldn't be fighting each other we shouldn't be fighting against the one who put us in this situation the mastermind oh did you awaken to your senses of justice well, it just so happened that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. Hmm. 
Is that the kind of justice that awakens within you? Just sh shut up. Okay. Well, anyways, more importantly, let's hurry up and get what everybody's been waiting for the punishment. I'm begging you, please don't do this. Hey, come on now. No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. No, 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 no. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. No. Damn, he's gonna die. Oh shit. Practically like a minigun. A thousand blow. It's actually getting shot with like a minigun. Hard baseballs, bro. Damn, getting executed the way, basically the way how you got to the school. Ooh. What we saw, that was true face of despair. I mean, we can't call it that. What else could we call it? Extreme. Yeah. Man, my gun is pumping right out of control. What's going on here? I can't take this again. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well. Hey, if you don't like it, all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. Man, fuck you. Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the hell? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well... Uh, so why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through a, such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... It's just like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fits together. You piece of shit. I don't even know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up to the wrong tree. What happened? Happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out right no matter how much time passes you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world you're to blame of course we can't cut free out of the outside world being trapped insane in this insane place hmm you're trapped are you well 
I'm sure you learn all the mysteries of the school. Mysteries of the school. Your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, oh boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What, does this mean? what are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Kills, chills, kills. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I got to say. I need to say some more for fun for later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. He left us there overwhelmed by nightmare reality. What a... Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, now unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. And we just lost our sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone. Their face, their voice is dead. It was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ears. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's all. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought that the thought never even crossed my mind I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that It's true Sayaka meant to double cross you That's a fact that you can never change But even till the very end She wasn't sure of her decision That's why as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me. You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Psycho will know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left a message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. One possibility. I don't think that was what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the death of your friends, Saika and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others will never be able to break free of such desperate situations. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No, I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. Well, I have high expectation from you. As she said that, she revealed a small smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well. I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have a pretty good intuition. And that's chapter one to survive. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to sleep. Just waiting for this. Surviving students 12 to be continued. Woo! We did it guys.